Would you look at this? A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Semtex. It ricochets through a dozen shell companies, but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik, parents to one Richard. That doesn't prove a thing. Well, this one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bombs were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I try to minimize the loss of life? Come on, that's so spinnable I'm motion sick. Look at this. It's an unredacted mission report for two SRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise. And it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the secretary. Exciting! Did you know that the head of security for Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail? And that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. Fuck off, you stupid drunk. This isn't a picnic and I haven't got any jam. Seems that Malik's given up having the microwave drones destroy compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. The effect will be about the same, though. What do we have here? Straight from your own laptop, Malik. Case files on all these little psylops you've been running. Honestly, you might as well have titled this Evil Bomb Conspiracy, Doc Doc. That's enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it. Independent power has been rebooted. Return to the central core to complete the cycle. Nice work, Bagley boy. Now let's get this blood clot. With pleasure.